Well, here I am at Suquamish Falls. Came up this morning, see if I can find the peregrines, and one of the guys that work here said they've been flying around. So I checked my archives last night, and it showed that this time of year they're usually here. So I decided to come up, hoping there wasn't much missed, and it looks good. Getting a clear view of the falls, and I'll stick it out here for a while, see if I can find the birds. And I know all the spots where they like to perch and uh, nest, so I'll check those out. If we locate them, well, hopefully we'll be able to uh, zoom in on them. But the falls is looking pretty good, actually. I'll try to uh, scan over a little bit here. Give me an idea of their habitat here. And then I'll come in on the nest that they usually use. Should be right above here a little bit. Coming in, coming in, there it is. This is a spot that we call the Chief Seattle site. Looks like a head, nose, and chin coming in on the neck. And it looks like there's a little whitewash there from last year, but this is where they usually nest, right here. Right on this ledge right here, and it looks clean. So they may have been making a scrape there already, so. I'll check out their perches and uh, hopefully we'll locate them. This is an ivory that they usually use. And it's easy to find. You see it does resemble a head there. A chin and a neck and a nose and a mouth. And we call that the Chief Seattle site. I'll scan back over towards the falls here. They have other places, but the ivy on their other favorite spot is uh, grown down so much now that they don't use that. I'll back off a little bit. That was one of their other sites. And it was uh, good because it was a lot closer, but uh, it used to be right in here. And I'll come in on that. But the ivy is grown down now and you can't even uh, see the ledge so this is where it used to be right in here come in a little bit more here see what we can do but this is always the greatest spot but all that ivy is grown down now so a couple of times a couple of years they were behind the ivy even so it was ridiculous you couldn't hardly see anything but we'll see if we can locate them come back to the falls and here we go coming down there we are see we got a little bit of snow left <laughs> it's been cold we had quite a winter here I had 18 inches of my snow a few weeks ago or my yard a few weeks ago but there's uh, not much water going over the falls right now but it's looking pretty good all right, well now we'll see if we can locate the birds.